Welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. Today what we'd like to do is wish each and every one of you a happy new year. This morning we're going to be doing just basically a real quick video. We're going to tell you what we've been doing this past year, why we've had a lack of videos uploaded last year and our goals for next year, and how we could use your help if you don't mind. So let's get to the video. Before I ask you guys for any help, what I'd like to do is tell you a little bit about me and Angie. Angie, when she got out of high school, she went in, signed up as a Marine and was in the Marine Corps and she was assigned overseas for several years. And then when she came back, she came back to Texas, which is her hometown. After she'd been here for a while, she moved to Oklahoma and then ultimately that's how we met, was in Oklahoma. After high school, I started going to college and I was working on a degree in uh, police science and my goal was to become a police officer. With that said, I was blessed and fortunate to work for an agency where I actually just recently retired, just a hair over 26 years. I've never mentioned it online or in any videos in the past because the department that I worked for did not allow sharing anything basically with social media about your job or any of that for safety reasons or whatever else. The good news is, is I have since retired and that's why the video uploads have been so slow to come around this year. This year I retired in January, we put our place up for sale in March and then we moved back to Angie's hometown where all of her family lives and where she came from and grew up. She doesn't ask for very much and then towards the end of last year she uh, asked me, she said I would really like to go back home. So I was like, well we're, gonna, we're gearing up to retire, I think we can make that happen. So basically we have a little one acre spot here where we're at in East Texas. We are planning on doing the gardens just like we did when we lived out in Shawnee. So we'll be bringing you some videos about the gardens. We did buy a arrow garden for a Christmas gift to each other this year. So if you guys like the arrow garden, we're going to be putting some videos out on that. Along with or prior to our move, I brought in a 16 by 40 building, which is what we use for Angie's leather shop. It was up and running way before we made the move on purpose because she makes a fair amount of money out of her leather shop and I did not want her shop to be going down while we was making the move. After we got that done, my first priority or my first biggest project was going to be starting on the wood shop. As many of you know, we've got the off-grid cabin and we've wanted a sawmill for many years and I knew that coming here, the opportunity would probably be better because this is East Texas, it's big woods out here. Aside from that, we had to take out several big trees to bring in her leather shop and I told her this property used to be her dad so I told her I said look I said we'll get the sawmill sawmilled the logs that her, were her dad's logs and a lot of them are actually the paneling on the inside of her leather shop now which looks really cool I'll show you some videos of that show you some of that process so I've since added a bigger table saw. We've got the saw stop. We'll be doing a review on the saw stop and a buyer beware review on the saw stop. So if you guys are interested in videos on the saw stop, the sawmill, the gardening, we're going to be bringing you all those videos along with the hunting. Next week, by the time by the time this video airs, I should be out in the woods. I'll be back in Oklahoma. I'm going back there to hunt. I've got my lifetime hunting and fishing license there and I'm technically still not a resident here in Texas and I don't want to pay the out-of-state fees and I haven't found a place here in Texas to hunt yet either so with that said by the time you're watching this video we should be in the woods and hopefully we'll be doing some really good trad hunting maybe we'll get lucky I've gone once this year and unfortunately it didn't pan out but hopefully this next trip I can I can connect with something and get us some meat here along with the move and everything else and the shortage of space we were needing a wood shop so I knew that that was going to be one of the first things that I built I got started on it as quickly as I could I'm pretty sure that I broke ground on it in April which would have been right after the house sold closing and everything else it took about a month for the concrete guys to get out here and actually do the concrete that was the only thing that I had to hire out and I waited on them roughly a month and according to some of you guys that are way up north and some of the other people I've talked to that was actually quick in my mind it was a long wait 
but I was excited to get the concrete pour. I knew that was a job that I couldn't do on my own. So the rest of the entire build in this shot that you can see the background is, is what we've done throughout the summer. I built 90% of it by myself. Angie was able to help me some. She had to do a lot of leather work in the meantime. So I got to where you see all these clamps. Those were, <laughs> those were my helpers that would help hold the other end of the board or whatever else while I was working out here. It's been a great summer. We've learned a lot and we're going to be bringing you guys a lot of videos. I'm excited to bring you a lot of videos on the woodworking along with we have not forgotten about our bow builds. I know that I've got a guy that wants me to make him a bow steel and good news as of last night, O-Jam, which has been canceled in the past, is supposed to be going. We're going to be making that trip this year. I'm already got it in the calendar. I'm going to make it happen and I'm going to go up there. I'm hoping after I'm done editing this video I'll be able to pay the pay the dues for that so again guys we've got a lot of great builds coming up we're going to be building cabinets in this shop we're going to be finishing this shop out I don't have a lot of video of me building the shop simply because we were pressed on time tired of living out of boxes and trying to get stuff done so what I am going to do is I'll actually be showing you part of the shop and what we've done and some of the videos that we do have while this video is rolling we want to uh, express to everybody how much we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to be as far as we are with our channel. Part of our goals for this year is I'd like to double the number of subscribers we have. So that's where I'm going to be asking you guys for help. It, I need roughly 10 ambassadors for our channel. If you enjoy our channel, you like the outdoor stuff, you guys know that have been watching the channel for a long time that I enjoy making my own gear. Just like this shop apron, I, I made it. When I was a kid, me and my dad would make tree stands or whatever kind of gear that we could actually make to save a few bucks. And that's just been instilled in me because I enjoy making stuff. We're going to be making stuff for fishing. Um, we're, yeah, I, I, won't, I don't want to tell everything, but I've got some cypress logs out here that are going to be set up on the sawmill shortly. We're going to start milling those up. I'm not sure how I'm going to end up doing the paneling in here, but it is going to be all wood off the sawmill just like we've done with Angie's shop. I'm still looking for trees. If you guys have some trees that you'd like to donate to the cause, we would greatly appreciate it. Again, we're here in East Texas. I'm easy to find. And uh, we've got a website, Heartland Leather Works. It's got my phone number on it. You can call me anytime. And even if it's a deal where you've got a tree that you maybe it was off your grandpa's place or something and you'd like to get it milled up call me let's work something out we we can we'd love to help you just the same as we can appreciate your help again back to where we need your help if we had roughly 10 ambassadors that would help us promote our channel simple things just like sharing our videos or if you see us on uh, share them on Facebook or anywhere else. We're going to try to double our numbers this year. I don't think that's an impossible goal. We're almost at 3,000, but if we could close out 2022 with uh, 6,000 subscribers, I would be more than happy about that, and I think it would be really awesome. Again, guys, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you all have a happy and blessed new year. Thanks again.